Hello everybody, this is John coming to you again from Cross Lake Sales and Random Bike Parts. And today we're gonna to delve into the wild world of threaded versus threadless. Their stems and their forks. Let's first start off with threaded forks and stems. This is called a quill stem because it goes inside. Um, your fork itself is gonna have threads on it that you can attach your headset to. Headset's just the bearings, that's the word they use for that. Um, threaded forks and stems, the stems physically insert into the fork. And there's a little wedge that compresses and makes this tight. Um, when you're looking at threaded stems, there's two measurements you're gonna to wanna to know for compatibility. The first one is the diameter of what the part is gonna insert into the fork. Uh, there's two common sizes, there's 22.2. It's always stamped on the stem itself, uh, just below the warning mark. So this happens to be a 22.2. And there's also one that's 25.4. That's another common size. And also this is a very old design. So it goes way back, way, way back to the a long time ago. So there's many different sizes. It's like seat posts, there's lots of different sizes. But the most common two are 22.2 and 25.4. That's the one important, really important measurement that's gonna tell you whether or not it's gonna be compatible with your fork. The next part is worrying about the diameter for your handlebars. This one happens to be a 25.4. So this is a 25.4 with a 22.2. They make them in different sizes, but in order to make sure it's compatible with your frame and your bars, you gotta make sure you pay attention to this measurement and the diameter of this measurement. So let's get into threadless. This is the most common kind now. Um, I, I personally, I believe it's a much superior system over the old threaded version. Um, this has been around since the mid nineties. Uh, basically, it's really simple. It slides on, you clamp it in place. Um, as with, the other one, there's two diameters you gotta pay attention to. This diameter that fits onto your fork, like this. This happens to be one and an eighth. This is one and an eighth. They do make them in one inch, um, one and a half, and I think one and a quarter. They make some different diameters, but one and an eighth is pretty much the most common one on the earth. And then the second one is the handlebar clamp diameter. This usually comes in 25.4, uh, 31.8, uh, 35 millimeters. It is the most, those are the three main sizes. So when you're trying to pick a stem that's good for your, your bike, um, it has to be threadless. If you're gonna have a threadless fork, this diameter has to match, and this has to match your handlebars. That is the, the rubric for determining whether or not this is gonna work on your bike. So let's recap. Let's start with the threaded. They have threads on the forks. That's how you can tell. The headset's gonna end at the top of the frame. The fork is gonna stick up beyond that. Uh, the stem inserts into it, okay, just like that. They are not compatible with threaded, threadless stems unless you have some kind of an adapter like this that sticks in, and then you can put your, your threadless stem around, this, around here. As with both of them, two measurements you gotta pay attention to, the part that inter interfaces with the fork and the part that interfaces with your handlebar. So let's go to the threadless version. Threadless forks have no threads on them. They have a certain diameter. This happens to be one and an eighth. The stem just slides on and clamps in place. Um, the, the fork is gonna extend up to the top of the stem. Uh, and they are not compatible with threadless, threaded stems. Mm -hmm. 